Okay, guys. Um, are you still there? Are you still uh, with me? I have launched uh, polls. Yeah, it's on the YouTube video just now. You may answer uh, the polls questions. Which dimension of quality is the most important? Yeah. So, uh, as mentioned in the YouTube just now, YouTube video just now, um, we are we are talking now about the definition of quality. So it depends on the perspective. Which perspective? Some uh, people are looking at uh, quality of design. Okay. Some people look. Okay, our quality of conformance and the other one is quality of performance. But based on these three, uh, design, conformance and performance, which one is the most uh, important uh, or significant uh, from your point of view? You may answer it. Uh, now we have uh, only 10 words, but you are 75 of you, okay? So I hope you can see more words here. Um, it it doesn't uh, have any right or wrong. Yeah, it's based on your point of view. Uh, if you think uh, quality of performance is good, uh, you say you can uh, work for it. We just want to see um, the majority of you uh, would prefer which one. So far, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see the result. Can you see result? Guys, can you see the result? No. Yes. I think you need, uh, some of you can see. Number of yes. votes. Yeah. You may click at the activities uh, tab there and the square circle and triangle and then uh, wood uh, for it okay pulls yeah so far uh, only three of you have uh, wood okay but uh, from this result you can see that um, most of you uh, prefer quality of performance. Uh, maybe one of you want to answer why you said uh, quality of performance is the most important one. Why? Daniel? You would answer to Daniel? Daniel Ifan? Kata would? Senyap ni. Amir Ashraf? Aiman yeah, Ashraf? Okay. Amir, yeah, Amir. Yeah. Uh, which one you would? Uh, maybe uh, not unword to customer buy. Huh? Unword to uh, customer buy if not working as expect. Customer, I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Mama Akma said, if not working as better, then the product yeah, yeah, will be. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure you have uh, answered the question or not, uh, Ashraf. I'm Ashraf. Because uh, uh, from my point of view, uh, the, the most important one is the performance, okay? Because I'm the user. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it is uh, good in design, but it doesn't perform, it, it has no, no use, yeah? Even though it uh, meet all the requirement and specification in terms of dimensions, uh, you. design, the outlook, aesthetic, but it doesn't perform, it doesn't, make, it doesn't uh, have any meaning for me, okay? All right, so um, 
uh, there's some idea for you just just brainstorming so that you can see when we talk about quality so you must know in uh what perspective are you talking about yeah let's uh, proceed with the slide uh, okay so um based on american society for quality okay this is authority american authority that gives discrimination you can find uh, many definition for example from oxford dictionary or others uh, authority it will give a diff, uh, different definition but at the end uh, in general you can see that quality is about meeting the needs and expectation of customer okay so um, so what the customer want so if you can meet that uh, needs and expectation so then uh, your product also will have the quality so the the needs and expectation might be an internal performance just as mentioned before appearance uh, it's more to it like a, a design reliability uh, in terms of a service for example uh, delivery and also about the expectation about the money. If you buy a, a product of 1,000 ringgit, you expect somewhat the product quality might, uh, should be good, but you don't expect it will uh, broken just a few days. You mean it's not reliable. So, so this thing that you need to uh, uh, see, if you uh, make a business, for example, uh, you want you must have some idea what the customer uh, needs and expect from your product or service. Okay, definitely the first one uh, about the value for money. So you want to uh, provide a product or service that the customer afford uh, can afford to uh, use buy it. Okay, but at the same time the it must be value for money. Okay, so if you buy a product of, uh, for example, could I, uh, uh, two ringgit DIY, it's cheaper product, so you don't expect uh, it can last uh, for many years. But some other product have a good quality, it, you can use it uh, for several years as well. That means it just go beyond your expectation. That means you can consider that product is have a good quality of product. Yeah. So this is I talk about uh, in terms of user. Uh, we are looking at the uh, performance, okay? But if you ask the quality uh, in, uh, in terms of manufacturing base, okay? So the manufacturer must be uh, conformance to the standard. I mean, conformance means uh, pematuhan. It must be mengikut uh, uh, lah. So you have some uh, spec and uh, specification and dimension. So you must, uh, uh, in, the, in terms of manufacturing, I mean, the quality standard that, that uh, you uh, follow uh, or conform conform with the, the standards for example you want to uh, make a ruler or any design that have certain uh, dimension specific uh, uh, lengths or or width you must you want to make sure every product have the exactly the accurate uh, measurement okay you don't want to have a product satu panjang satu pendek just currently now this we uh uh, looking for lemang, okay, for example, uh, ada lemang panjang, ada lemang pendek, and then some uh, a tree, uh, and the nampak panjang, tapi sebenarnya yang dalam tu sikit je. Huh? So, I many times I have been tricked by the lemang uh, punya seller, uh, nampak macam panjang, tapi sebenarnya dia dah, dia dalam tu separuh je. Yeah. And uh, another thing is about the product base, uh, product base view uh, is more toward the design. Lah. Okay, uh, so let, let's see this uh, uh, further details. For example, in this uh, cell phone example, uh, you can see the design quality in terms of uh, uh, features. Okay, uh, so they have uh, several. Uh, quality in, ter in terms of performance, durability, reliability, okay, how long it can last, features, extra characteristic, okay, serviceability, reputation, aesthetic, this means uh, the appearance of product, feel, smell, taste, okay. 
in the term of cell phone, there might be a sleep model design, a large screen. Okay. This is one product. If you look for services, uh, so uh, you may uh, just uh, see whether it's a uh, convenient, responsive, time, courtesy, uh, consistency, assurance. I mean, how the the service uh, provided by by them to you in terms of how quickly the service is delivered and uh, in terms of politeness. Okay, these are things that you may uh, consider. Okay. So the implication of quality, you know that the quality is very important to make uh, your business or your company uh, have a high reputation. If you provide a good quality service, or, uh, or, or definitely the people will come again, the client will repeat uh, to use your service, okay? And then also, if you have a good quality, that means uh, you can gain um, uh, more trust and confidence of your clients. I mean, uh, you also may have a low uh, product availability because you don't afraid if you the product is delivered to the customer, uh, the customer will not return back the, the the product that you have delivered. But if your product have low quality, so they have many customer returns and complaints, definitely it will affect uh, in terms of your uh, financial status. Okay, because you have the ability to uh, refund all those uh, uh, products. And then you also can penetrate uh, worldwide if you have this uh, good product. Nowadays, you can see that the customer are more knowledgeable, okay? They can uh, give uh, feedback or complaint in real time, okay? They can make this using this media social, okay? For example, we have many times have a uh, see customer complaint uh, through media social it can definitely affect the uh, the the product uh, for example last time i see that um, um apa baju baju raya nama apa uh, bulan bintang eh? uh, banyak orang complain kata harga mahal tapi uh, berbulu lah apalah all those things kan so it shows that the uh, the the customer now have many uh, channel to uh, to to give feedback and complaints okay it's very dangerous because a customer have uh, many knowledge they can compare to many uh, products uh, in terms of price quality that's why um, the quality of product or service is very important on this okay in terms of quality management now we are talking about quality management uh, you must understand to achieve high quality, uh, it doesn't happen by accident. So you need to have a proper planning and strategy as well. Dia tak boleh tiba-tiba product you ada high quality, you know, yeah. Uh, hey, the production process must be properly managed because uh, the product will go to a process. So you must make sure that every stages of the, uh, the process need to be monitored so that the, the quality is good okay when we talk about quality management uh, we are concerned about uh, controlling activities with the aim of ensuring the products and services fit for the purposes and meet the specification uh, this which before so you when we talk about quality we want to meet the standard okay of a customer to manage uh, all those activities. So that specification of or requirement of your clients. First one is quality control, the one is quality assurance. So they And lastly, when the product are finished, okay, take place before product are dispatched to the customer. So once it finish, finish, before you deliver to the customer, so you also need to check. So you can see that if you have a uh, thousand of products, so many check, 
many products you need to check. So it takes time, definitely will cost, will cost you. So, so this uh, quality control is, is quite traditional, it's quite expensive, okay, because uh, you will have uh, many errors. If the, uh, the staff, the quality control uh, staff, tired and fatigue, so it doesn't uh, inspect the product properly. So most probably a uh, poor quality product will be shipped to the customer. Okay. So, and then um, they have many errors, okay, and variation because of this uh, human factor. That's why even though we have uh, machines, okay, computerized or sensors that can detect it, but the person, the human who deal with the sensors may be uh, uh, tired, so you cannot uh, check properly. So so the best way to, to fully automate, okay, so that there's less in, um, interaction with human because human have limitation. All right. So now we, the second one is about quality assurance. Quality assurance, assurance means... Um, Jaminan, uh, so you give a promise. Uh, uh, the process uh, that ensure production quality meets the requirement of customer. All the plant activities that can be demonstrated to provide confidence, their product service will fulfill requirements for quality. So it's just like uh, you have some uh, process, okay, that you uh, assure when the production uh, go through this process, the output of the product will be uh, a quality product. Okay, you don't inspect at the final stage, but you more focus on the process. That means, for example, you need to review. Okay, so you have stages. Uh, all this uh, all documentation, uh, you need to follow the standard operating procedure so that uh, the the process. Uh, of the production, follow the uh, SOP and so on. Okay. Uh, focus on quotation is on the product design or the real stage. Okay. If the production process is well controlled and reliable, then the quality will be in. So you must make sure that the system itself is, is very uh, good so that uh, the product that go out from the system is a good quality. You can see this, they're different, okay? Quality assurance versus uh, quality control. Quality assurance is more uh, process-oriented. For example, set up a review and approval process for construction drawing. So then before you do something, you have some stages, yeah? Process, for example, review process, or, so that the quality of the design has been uh, uh, approved and checked properly. If you don't have this, maybe you just uh, construct uh, the, the, the buildings. But at the end, because it's not been uh, reviewed and approved properly, because you don't have this quality assurance, uh, the, the quality of the building might be poor. But in terms of quality control, it's quite straightforward. It just focus on final product. Uh, so you just see the final product and then uh, uh, and then uh, measure the, the, the the checklist based on checklist. If you look here, uh, the difference between uh, QA and QC. Uh, this is process oriented, and the other one is product oriented. Uh, quality control cannot uh, prevent, okay, the, uh, the the failure or, but this quality assurance can prevent. We can consider this a pro proactive approach, uh, quality control is more reactive approach. So in terms of uh, quality assurance, that's why uh, top management is very important to uh, develop this uh, procedure so that the, 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 the quality assurance can be implemented in the organization. And another one, uh, quality assurance is everyone's responsibility. It, for quality control, maybe uh, just uh, uh, the inspector only, okay? The QC uh, staff only. But quality assurance, uh, make sure that all the organization staff have responsibility 
uh, for their uh, good quality products. Okay. Okay, guys. So far, okay, you can follow. Boleh ke? Saya suara pun tak ada ni. Boleh ya? Kau mengantuk lah cakap macam ni ya? Okay, this is about cost of quality. Uh, basically, we have this uh, because you want to produce a good quality product, definitely you need to have cost on it. Okay. So first cost is about the prevention cost. Okay, reducing the potential for defect before production. That means you need to train your staff, for example, to uh, send in for training. So the cost of the training is the prevention cost, okay? Appraisal cost, everything, the products, parts, and services. This is during the uh, production. That means you need to test the product first, okay? Before you uh, deliver to the customer. All these costs, uh, testing uh, in, is included under the appraisal cost. Internal failure cost, okay? When you produce a defect part, you need to repair it, okay? Fix it. So before you deliver, you find it. Uh, after you inspect, you can you detect this is failure. So you can uh, it will cost you as well. External failure cost after you deliver, okay, uh, and then you got customer return. Okay, you can see this diagram. Okay, they have a cost of conformance, a cost of non-conformance. Cost of conformance, a prevention cost. Okay, you build a quality product. That's why I mentioned before about the training, QC staff, testing equipment, and so on. And, uh, for a quality product, uh, you're running the test, you assist testing, inspecting, all this uh, money spent during the project to avoid failure. Okay. Before uh, before you deliver to the customer. Okay. But non performance yeah, money spent during and after the project because of the failure. Mean the, the fail. Okay, this is before fail. After failure, you, for example, internal failure cost, they mean you detect it uh, in your company before it ship out. So you need to rework or uh, fix it. If it cannot uh, do some uh, uh, rework, you need to scrap it. So failure found by the project. External failure cost is failure found by the customer. You have shipped the product already. So your liability, label, uh, for example, the customer can sue you, okay? Uh, and then uh, you, you also can affect your reputation, business, uh, loss credibility. So all these are uh, um, costs of quality that you can uh, see. It's not quite straightforward. I mean, if you produce a good quality product, definitely you can have uh, consider all these costs so that your product uh, might be expensive because of this process or uh, prevention cost, appraisal cost, and so on. Okay, uh, about the quality system, uh, three common quality system that many organizations use in order to manage the quality. Okay. If you go to any um, organization, normally they will talk about this TQM, ISO 9001, or 66 mark. So, uh, have you come across before this term in uh, industry? You have been in uh, industry training last semester, right? Pernah dengar apa kata ni? Pernah, pernah, pernah. Yeah. So, you dekat mana, Faro? Intern? Uh, Penta Master. Penta Master Penang lah. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, betul kawan. So, apa yang dia pakai apa? Quality, quality system dia? Uh, ISO 9001 kan? Tak nak ingat lah. Uh, JG, JG tahu JG. Dia uh, QA. Siapa JG? Haa, uh, JG, JG. Dia apa? <laughs> Okay, now we look at the total quality management, okay. Total quality management is basically it's not quality control. Quality control, you know, is just inspection. It's more toward like a quality assurance, okay, approach. 
Okay. So when we talk about TQM, is a management philosophy committed to focus on continuous improvement of product and services with the enrollment of the entire workforce. Now, so it uh, involves the entire workforce, uh, just like mentioned before, quality assurance, responsibility of the workers, not responsibility for the inspector uh, QC uh, staff only. Okay. Uh, so when we talk about TQM, so they have these uh, three principles, customer satisfaction, uh, so you focus on customer, employee involvement, so all the employee involved, and then the other one is continuous improvement. Uh, continuous improvement is the, you want to make sure that the product and quality keep improving, yeah? it's not static. For example, in uh, our uh, Unimap, for example, uh, we have this uh, CQI, uh, Continuous Quality Improvement. So after finish the uh, semester, uh, we, will, we will review the marks of the students, okay? For example, this course, okay? How many is um, about the grades, yeah, performance, compared to last year, any uh, uh, improvement, okay? So from there, we understand, okay, maybe we need to uh, improve the content of the syllabus or the way maybe we want to do more uh, assignment or a more uh, difficult question on examination. Uh, so this, uh, how we improve, okay. Okay, another one is about the ISO 9001. Uh, this is uh, many, uh, I think in Unimed also we got this. Uh, it's about documentation. Uh, so if, if you want to apply this ISO 9001, it's just, it just all about documentation where you have this SOP and then you follow the SOP. So once you comply all this, uh, uh, all this documentation requirement, so you may get this uh, uh, ISO 9001. So it's very important because it gives you some uh, reputation because you your work have quality because you uh, have some standard that you follow compared to other company that they have this. You see, it might be a, a, a risk because the company maybe not have a standard. Uh, to to cons to follow yeah. So this standard is based on number of quality management principle, including a strong customer focus, motivation, implication of top management, the process approach, and continued improvement. So continuous improvement is always there yeah, in the quality control. Okay, this is the seven principle of ISO nine thousand one. So you can see that uh, customer focus leadership is very important. Engagement of people, okay, involvement all the staff, process reports, improvement, uh, evidence based decision making, relationship management, and so on. Okay, last uh, the the other common thing, common uh, quality system they use uh, in a company is six sigma. Six sigma is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement. Okay. He was introduced by engineer Bill Smith uh, while working at Motorola in 1980. So this guy is the, 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 the founder uh, of this approach. And then later on, uh, uh, been uh, improved by uh, Honeywell company and uh, General Electric Motor uh, GE in the US. Though all these are US company. It's a comprehensive quality system for achieving business success by minimizing variation in business process. Six Sigma quality is used to describe process so well control and the monitoring for So you know Sigma, the standard deviation, uh, this uh, symbol, uh, Sigma. You learn statistics and uh, standard deviation. So you find, calculate the standard deviation. Uh, if you remember, uh, this is the bell curve shape in your graph, or Gaussian graph. Uh, so you have a mean, so you have three Sigma, Six sigma here, okay. So they mean uh, for 
this is your target uh di angkat hujung-hujung ni you punya failure lah if you have three three sigma that means you have 2700 defects in a million in a million so okay but if you have six sigma that means you have only 3.4 defects per million uh, so you have very low uh, failure okay so based on this uh, statistic punya graph okay but you, they have the process in order to achieve the six mark we call it the the the, the dmaic okay this one the mic approach uh, so d is definite define define then you need to define the the project scope output and so on define process when you properly define you measure the process and collect data from the data collection you analyze the data and then you improve uh, the, the 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 process okay or procedure and then you control the process to make sure performance level are maintained so so you use this um, approach okay for six months the maic before you do anything you need to define first what you want what uh, and then you measure it and from the data collection you analyze then you improve control okay because you for okay this is implementation uh, stage okay and then uh, definitely you need to have tra excessive training on this okay and then uh, top management must involve uh, seriously in this uh, program and then the expert they give uh, uh, certification or qualified punya ni in term of uh, belts uh, black belts uh, green belts okay so i'm not sure whether you have uh, come across this uh, belts ah uh, kali pinggang hitam hijau lah kuning lah pernah ada any of you in the during intern ada tak kita semua dah tidur ni guys Ismail Muhammad Ismail pula ke mana you intern hari tu intern kat mana Dah tak ingat lah So the, the company ada ni kah Six Sigma program kah Tak ada ha. Siapa yang uh, Company dia ada Six Sigma Tak ada yang pergi Motorola ke US company ya? Ada Rumah ni tidur apa Jaga ni siapa tak tahu Tak ada Okay. This cannot be accomplished without major commitment from top level management. Ah, uh, kalau dalam ah uh, sistem ini, you everything kalau any quality system punya uh, approach, okay, top management is very important. Okay, commitment of top management. Ah, uh, because the top management can uh, uh, motivate you. Ah, ni dia punya uh, certification lah, qualification lah. Ha? Kalau uh, paling bawah yellow belt lah. Okay. You just uh, six smart awareness, you tahu lah apa dia six smart and those things. Uh, green belt ni when you uh, dah pakai tool lah, macam you dah pakai, uh, you dah agreement project using the DMAIC, you define measure analyze uh, improve and control you use the 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 the, the theory okay and then one you done what banyak project uh, you boleh dapat uh, uh, black belt lah black belt ni dia project leader bila you dah power cukup power banyak project you dah handle uh, you can have this uh, master black belt lah that that train with at least two experience teach this okay you bukan saja dah buat project project 
you ajar orang lain pula you teach others okay so for example if you go uh, to industry and then you have this bad bad definitely they will demand you you can uh, uh, ask for higher salary because your expertise they know once you have bad bad they mean you can improve the production into a process and, and also quality that's why it's very important to have this qualification if you work in industry the job okay cost ni pun mahal lah ni dapat ni pun uh, thousand lah thousand ringgit lah okay this is the uh, in terms of uh, award lah Malaysia pun ada kan Anugara Award Quality Parliamentary and so on. This is in US. They they have this uh, Malcolm Belridge National Quality Award. Okay. Okay. I saya pun tak nak cakap banyak. Kita kita watch video dulu. Kan okay. you nak take a break, guys? Lihat. Ya? Huh? Kita cakap seorang aja ni. <laughs> Okay ya, okay ya. Kau duduk. Okay doktor. Nasib ah kita tengok ni apa? Klip ni dah. The Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award recognizes businesses and organizations for performance excellence. This year, only five were given, and Adventist Health Castle was the first in Hawaii across all industries to receive it. There was a person by the name of Malcolm Baldridge who was Secretary of Commerce under Ronald Reagan. So Baldridge decided to write this Quality Improvement Act, which was designed to help us compete better with other countries. It's about improving the quality of American business. So it's really designed just to help spur the U.S. economy. The framework, which divides um, the organization into different categories such as leadership, strategy, uh, workforce, and so on, and then within those categories are criteria questions and then hopefully you can answer it with a systematic approach that is repeatable and that is deployed across all areas of the organization that needs to be deployed to and resulting in better results. We actually started this process in 2003 and we, we've actually submitted five Baldrige applications since that time. So. The first three were on the state level and the last two were on the national level. So we won the highest state award in 2014, which then made us eligible to apply nationally. The good thing is that each time you send in an application, you get a feedback report. Each time we've gotten a little bit better and a little bit better, and then finally in 2017, we got word that we had won the national award. People from all different sectors can apply. There were about uh, 30 applicants the year that we won, and then there were five of us who were selected. Two in healthcare, a rocket science organization, the city of Fort Collins won, and a uh, utilities company in Tennessee. So broad spectrum across the U.S. And to be able to represent Hawaii on the national stage was, was really very special. And I think when we went to accept that award in Baltimore, I think the people there felt the aloha. And so now people are just even more dedicated than ever. I think the morale is higher than ever. And, and we just continue to get better. I sincerely believe that there are people alive today that wouldn't be if not for our commitment to this Baldrige process. Today we have some of the best patient safety guidelines in place to help keep patients safe while they're in the hospital. We oftentimes get feedback from our patients that our staff are so happy and so willing to go the extra mile. And I think that is because our staff have a sense of fulfillment. They're able to make a difference. I think every individual at Castle, because of our systems, they all understand how they can make a difference. And they do that every day. This segment is sponsored by Adventist Health Castle. Okay, guys, uh, there's some uh, example of the winner of the Malcolm Marriage Award. Yeah? 
this man. If you look at the criteria, okay, you can see um, they have uh, these uh, categories, leadership, strategic planning, customer focus, measurement, and let's say knowledge management, workforce, operations, okay. So from here, uh, which category is the most important one? Leadership. Uh, you can see leadership. Uh, that's why they, they have 120 points. That's why the commitment of leadership is very important for any quality system in administration. Kalau ketua dia memang power, padu memang okey lah kan. Kalau ketua dia pun tak ni, nak bawah lagi lah kan. Yeah. Uh, so you can see it's very important to find a good leader that have a quality so that it can train the employees down there to become a successful. All right, this is the, the flow activities if you want to implement the quality. <clears throat> start with this uh, leadership, okay. It is we set this uh, mission, okay, SOP, okay, we send the training. So the leader will uh, know what is important and what is to uh, be accomplished. And then this is top management and go to the uh, media management or supervisor, the, 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 the staff who execute the, the, the idea, okay. So uh, here, uh, more toward hands-on, yeah? how to do what is important and to be accomplished. Okay, uh, you got the, the the command from the top management. So the middle manager, middle manager, manager must know uh, how to do or to implement this these ideas. Okay, and then in 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 terms of employee fulfillment, so employee attitude. Uh, okay, accomplish what is important. So this one, uh, last slide, we, we, we talk about the uh, management, uh, about POLC, uh, planning, okay, this is top management, and then organizing, this is the media manager, and leading, uh, leading as well is to give motivation uh, to the employee so that the employee have a right attitudes so that he can accomplish the, the, the job. And lastly, uh, definitely uh, the customer will satisfy. Then, and then they, will, they repeat the orders, okay? So uh, if you make the customer happy, I mean, your uh, organization or company can be successful, okay? That's the flow of activities for quality uh, system. Okay, guys, before we break, uh, you may take your attendance. I think I need to take uh, 10 minute breaks, okay, before we proceed. It's okay for you guys. You are the upper girl, Pani. Any class or anything else? Because if we can proceed complete the uh, the lecture, we no need to have class on uh, Friday. It's up to you. If you want to stop at uh, here, we will have class on Friday. Continue, continue, continue. Uh, bye. Continue. Let, let's uh, take a break. Uh, you may have uh, your attendant uh, using the QR code.
Oh, jangan, jangan. Rashid, Rashid. Masuk, Okay, guys, can we proceed? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, Dr. All right. Hey, Dr. Uh, okay, now we uh, proceed with the uh, qualities of gurus and quality gurus. Uh, they mean uh, the legend, the leaders in uh, quality theory okay. Um, okay the first one is uh, Edward Demings uh, Edward Demings is uh, uh, I have proposed this uh, 14 points yeah for quality improvements so I uh, think it's better to uh, watch some explanation from YouTube Dr. William Edwards Deming was a physicist and statistician attaining great influence in the fields of management and statistics. Deming began working in Japan in 1950 and was instrumental in building the Japanese industry into an economic world power. This diagram was explained by Deming in his book, Out of the Crisis. Here is how it works. If you focus on quality and improve the quality, rework is reduced, the cost goes down, and productivity increases. As customer satisfaction goes up, market share increases, and the profits go up. 
that results in increased market share and helps companies to stay in business and provide employment. The concept of the PDCA cycle was originally developed by Walter Schuhart. It is often referred to as the Schuhart cycle. It was taken up and promoted very effectively from the 1950s on by Deming. Later in Deming's career, he modified PDCA to PDSA so as to better describe his recommendations. Dr. Deming said that hard work is not enough. What is needed is a transformation of the prevailing style of management. A leader must understand the system he or she is attempting to manage. Without this understanding, the system cannot be managed or improved. Understanding that all the parts of a business are related in such a way that if you focus on optimizing one part, other parts may suffer. You must also understand the concept of variation, which includes common cause and special cause. Problems arise when management reacts to common cause as if it were special cause variation. Knowledge depends on theory. Experience teaches nothing without theory. Leaders must understand human behavior to motivate, coordinate, and manage people to optimize the system. The various segments of the system of profound knowledge cannot be separated. They interact with each other. Management has tended to be short-sighted in their thinking. They are more interested in the problems of today and give little or no thought of the problems of tomorrow. Constancy of purpose requires that management be committed to long-term thinking instead of just changing strategies to make the quarterly report look good. Organizations must allocate resources for long-term planning, research, and education and for the constant improvement of the design of their products and services. Adopt the new philosophy means change. The changes needed in industry require a complete new outlook by raising the expectations of quality. Management must understand that quality costs less, not more. Quality does not come from inspection. Mass inspection is unreliable, costly, and an effective quality must be designed and built into the processes preventing the effects, rather than attempting to detect and fix them after they have occurred. To truly cease dependence on inspection, you must bring your process into control. Once you build quality into your product, you do not need all of the inspectors to segregate bad products. Price alone has no meaning. Change focus from lowest initial cost to lowest total cost. The policy of forever trying to drive down the price of anything purchased, with no regard to quality and service, can drive good vendors and good service out of business. Management must work toward a single source and long-term relationship with suppliers. Quality starts with the intent of management. Management and employees must search continuously for ways to improve quality and productivity. Putting out fires is not improvement of the process. It shouldn't even be necessary. Thus, both training and education are vitally important. Management must provide the setting where workers can be successful. Training at all levels is a necessity, not optional. How can anyone do their job properly if it is not understood exactly? what their job is. Training is an investment. Unfortunately, when things get tight financially, training is the first thing to go. This costs more money to the company in the long run. Managers should lead, not supervise. Leadership is helping the worker and machines to perform at their best ability to create quality parts. A worker must be able to have pride in his or her work if they are to do their best. Management has the power to remove these barriers or create them. Good leaders will find ways to remove them. Make employees feel secure enough 
to express ideas, and ask questions. Many employees are afraid to ask questions, even if they don't understand what is to be done, or how to do it. When employees are afraid, they will continue to do things wrong, or just not do them at all. If people feel secure, then they will be more productive, and produce better quality. People in different areas, or departments, must work in teams. Top management erects the barriers through their style, and methods of management, and they are the ones who can break the barriers down. Management must promote teamwork. Working in teams will solve many problems, and will improve quality, and productivity. Problems with quality, and productivity, are caused by the system not by individuals. By raising the level of expectations from the workers, without providing the means of accomplishing it, the workers will develop a feeling of resentment towards the management. Posters and slogans generate frustration and resentment. They are directed at the wrong group, that is workers, instead of management. A huge contributor to poor quality and waste is quota. Everyone works at different speeds. There is no way of changing this. If you set the quota at the average worker's production rate, then half will be faster than the quota, and half will be slower. The workers, who are exceeding the quota, will slow down. It is worse for the slower workers. They will feel the pressure on them, to meet the targets. Though they work hard, they will find the only way to meet the quota, is to rush, and compromise on quality. Individual performance reviews are a great barrier to pride of achievement. Allow people to take pride in their workmanship. Management must foster a learning environment in the organization where workers and management learn new ways to improve things. Management must take on the 14 points wholeheartedly. They must explain the new philosophy to everyone in the company so that everybody as a team can work toward the common goal. Joseph Uran made many contributions to the field of quality management. He is recognized as the person who added the human dimension to quality, broadening it from its statistical origins to what we now call total quality management. His book, The Quality Control Handbook, is a classic reference for quality engineers. The Union of Japanese Scientists and Engineers invited Dr. Yuran to Japan to teach them the principles of quality management. Yuran's belief that quality does not happen by accident gave rise to the Quality Trilogy. According to Yuran, quality planning is the process of understanding what the customer needs and designing a system that is able to meet those needs reliably. Quality control is used to constantly monitor performance for compliance with the original design standards. If performance falls short of the standard, plans are put into action to deal quickly with the problem. Quality control puts the system back into a state of control. Quality improvement occurs when new previously unobtained levels of performance are achieved.
At 4 a.m. one morning, I received a... Okay, guys, are you still with me? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> okay. okay, this uh, you. I think uh, no need to play the YouTube uh, frequently. You may click it uh, afterwards. Okay, I will share this uh, slide with you. All right. So you may because it's quite straightforward. Um, you may uh, have uh, do a self study on this. Okay. Basically, this is uh, you must know uh, aware or aware about this uh, guy uh, Edward Demings. Joseph Jurens, uh, Armand Fekimum, uh, Philip Crosby, right? For example, this uh, Edward Demings is very, uh, uh, we can call it as a father of quality uh, control, you know, quality assurance or uh, theory, okay? Because he's the one who proposed many ideas, okay, regarding the uh, total quality management. And Joseph Duran is very famous with the Duran theology. I mean, the, for quality system, we need to have uh, three things, quality planning, quality uh, uh, control, and the other one is quality improvement. So before you uh, do something, you now start with uh, planning, and then uh, you control it, and last uh, with the improvement. So you can Google and find many uh, information or just type their name in the YouTube. Uh, you can learn many things, uh, more details about their theories, okay? Same thing for Aman, Aman Agobam, okay? Uh, later on, I will give this uh, slide. You may click all this uh, uh, name so that they give some explanation. So for uh, Aman Agobam, uh, he write this... Uh, total quality control, and later on improve to a total quality management, okay? Uh, Philip Crosby, uh, famous with this uh, zero defects terminology. Okay, he he uh, believed that when uh, the system, when uh, the, he believed that the system can have no uh, failure if we can have uh, proper planning as well, okay? Um, but the most important here, uh, the idea of Edward Demings is um, the staff uh, cannot produce a quality product because if the system is not good, okay? So that's why this responsibility of top management to develop a system that can assist the staff to work in order to produce a quality product. If the system is not uh, good, uh, there's no chance to produce a quality product. So he believed that uh, top management must develop a good system first. So once they have good system, the good quality product will uh, have will be produced. All right, and then um, when we talk about the quality system, uh, we also need to uh, understand this uh, continuous improvement. All those uh, TQM, uh, ISO 6 is smart, have the element of continuous improvement. Okay? So it's never any process. If you go to any industry, you need to improve the quality. Yeah, Arman? <laughs> never. So this is never any process. Process, yeah. Uh, this is the example uh, PDCA uh, model. So first you need to plan and do and check and act. So it's just a continuous uh, process so that you can improve. Uh, if you work in Japanese company, uh, you may uh, heard this Kaizen, okay? Uh, 
they describe ongoing process of an ending improvement. QKM zero defect uh, uh, if you in uh, um, uh, civil engineering or construction, okay, they have uh, this zero uh, uh, accident, okay. If you work in a service uh, business, so you need to know how to uh, resolve customer complaint. So many, uh, it says, this is the, the list of best practices you can apply. In a service, must be fast, okay, transparent. So, and then you must make sure that the complaint uh, can be easily done, okay. Because some company make uh, the complaint difficult, so they don't get uh, any feedback or complaint from the customer, but it's not good for their business. For improvements, well, you need to have this benchmarking. For example, in Unimet itself, we need to benchmark uh, between faculties. Okay, For example, mechanical with electrical and then with electronics. So we know the status or condition of our um, the faculty. The same thing, after you do the internal benchmarking, you also need to do the external benchmarking as well to know the status or the condition of your faculty. Okay, this is all, all process for the improvement. Okay. Another approach is just in time. Okay, so that when you have this just in time uh, approach, I mean, you can uh, reduce the delay, okay? As well, you don't keep the inventory uh, for a long time. For example, the raw material may become, but you didn't process it, so it will affect the the cost, okay? Because you need to store. Same thing, once you finish, uh, produce the product, you just keep in the uh, store before deliver. You consume the space, it may be uh, cost you uh, financial uh, cost as well, okay? So this is the, just in time, we will talk, discuss this, uh, I think, um, by the Dr. Fauzi, uh, the, the second lecture, okay? He will continue uh, uh, with this topic. Uh, yes, I mentioned before, it's about the cut quality, the cut cost, okay? Another concept is Taguchi concept. Okay, this is uh, Japanese name as well. Okay, so the main idea is to improve uh, through experimental design methods. Okay, so it have these uh, three main elements: quality of robustness, target quality, and quality of function. It's just like a Gaussian uh, uh, graph just now, bell curve. Okay. So we want to have this, uh, uh, for example, for this graph, you can see. The target is the best one, okay? So if it go far from the target, the quality will be deteriorated, okay? So once the quality deteriorates, at the same time, you will have more loss, okay? You can see from the graph, it's low loss here, but as it divides, from the target, uh, you will have high loss, okay? This is just concept that you can uh, understand. Okay, apply later on. Okay. Another one, another thing you need to know is about the tools, okay? That you can use uh, to improve the quality. First, uh, about the tools for generating ideas. You may have this check sheet, scatter diagram, cause and effect diagram. Uh, to organize data, you may have this Pareto chart, flow chart. And uh, for identity problems, uh, you may have this histogram. And also SPC, static process control chart. Okay. All right, this uh, example uh, of check sheet, okay. Uh, you just have some uh, data and put, for example, defect A, B, C, and then you put uh, the check, okay? Uh, for first hour, how many, okay? Failure, defect, uh, then and so on. 
from this check sheet you can generate some idea for example uh, defect c uh, keep increasing uh, time defect a reducing uh, something like that we saw have some ideas okay uh, you use also scatter diagram you can see that uh, for example here productivity decreases as absentee uh, increases okay so you use this data to help you to understand uh, about the uh, situation of, of the production uh, this is cost effect diagram or sometimes we call it called a fishbone uh, diagram okay so you just come up with some uh, cost okay so this is the effect okay it might be cost because of the material method because the machinery or human uh, human power uh, this is Pareto chart okay uh, I give you some ideas but at the end of this uh, slide you have some link from there you can click and then uh, you can uh, have self-study yeah part of the chart it just give you uh, the formula of uh 80 20. i mean you need to find the most significant uh, activities that can impact 80 percent of your result okay so for the theory only 20 percent of your activities can give impact to 80 percent of your output so that's why you need to find identify the 20 percent so that you just focus on the significant uh, uh impact rather than you work on the rest of 80 percent because this 80 percent will give you 20 percent output only uh, the detail of this uh, Pareto you can uh, watch on youtube uh, link i give you at the end of this uh, slide yeah flow chart you can formula uh, familiar okay just a process diagram histogram also i believe that you have learned during uh, your uh, secondary school uh, to get get uh, some ideas to identify the problem from this uh, uh, histogram uh, the spc is the for the quality control uh, the detail of this uh, you will learn with uh, uh, ir4z uh, uh, i think uh, at uh, weeks uh, 10 maybe okay so it just matter you you have this upper and lower control and then you chart the the performance okay uh, so the idea is to make sure that you have uh, the result or the output between this uh, control limit upper and lower control limit uh, this is example of cost effect diagram okay uh, this is example of this uh, Pareto chart okay uh, flow chart example of it spc okay you use statistic okay and this example for example uh once you go beyond the upper control limits uh, they mean uh, you need to do something okay okay this is the self-study part uh, i hope you can uh, click it uh, after this so that you can have uh, your own time to uh, to understand or to learn about this subject. I think that's all uh, for today. Okay, if you have anything uh, to say before we end the class, guys. Ada apa kan? Semua dah tak ada kan ni? Ada lagi. Ada ya? Okay. Dia tak ada suara lah. Tak boleh nak cakap banyak lah. Okay. So uh, let's conclude uh, what we have learned today. Uh, first is about the definition of quality. So you know that uh, the quality definition can be uh, in different perspective or different dimension based on where you look at, at it. Okay. It can be in, in terms of design, performance or conformance. Okay. And then we also talk about this... Uh, what we call it as a uh, few uh, example of see uh, back uh, ah yeah uh, 
different view and then we go back about the impact of, of uh, why we need to have a good quality product uh, quality management okay the difference between the quality control and quality assurance okay and then uh, about the cost of quality uh, you have four types okay and then uh, the common quality system that used in a company uh, TKM ISO 9001 and 6 is smart and uh, lastly about this uh, uh, the, the leaders uh, in the quality uh, theory and also about the continuous improvement okay Continue just a little bit later on, you will learn a more detail. It's just a brief, brief introduction. We will learn a more detail later on uh, into the GIT, lean manufacturing, and so on. And also about the SPC. Uh, for this class, we just, uh, for this moment, we just give you some overview so that you're familiar with these uh, terminologies. Okay, you know about the Kaizen, the G GIT, Taguchi, TKM, or SPC. And also, lastly, about the tools of TKM. I mean, you need to use these tools so that you can uh, generate idea, understand the problem. Uh, from these uh, uh, tools, you can uh, help you to improve uh, the, the, the production and quality. Okay, um, that's all for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, see you next week. And then get prepared uh, for the quiz next week. Yeah. So uh, the class on Friday, we have no class because we have uh, extra hours today. So I hope uh, you can uh, get ready for the quiz uh, next week. Okay. All right. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Okay, Happy Wednesday. Thank you, Dr. Okay, bye-bye.